Magandang morning sa lahat ng ating mga kapatid na nandito ngayon sa ating morning devotion. I hope and pray na lahat po tayo ay nandun pa rin yung kagalakan, kapayapaan sa ating buhay. Dahil alam ko na maraming mga busy mommies ngayon, busy parents, dahil ito yung unang araw ng mga estudyante, mga anak natin na nag-aaral face to face. So let's pray, not only for our children, not only for our families, but also for all the teachers na gagamitin ng Panginoon to educate and train our children na mag-aaral. So today, before we start our devotion, let's have our prayer. Father God and Heaven, we bless your name, we glorify your name on high, O oh God. Tunay nga po, napakabuti mo sa buhay ng bawat isa sa amin. Tulungan mo kami, Panginoon, dahil wala po kaming magagawa kung wala ka sa aming buhay. Nananahan po kami lagi sa iyong banal na presensya at sa iyong banal na spirito na siya tutulong at gagabay sa amin sa pang-araw-araw naming pamumuhay. At ngayon po, Panginoon, nandito muli kami, nagpapakumbaba, humingi ng kapatawaran sa lahat ng aming kasalanan sa isip, salita, at sa gawa. Tulungan mo kami, Panginoon, na magkaroon kami ng initiative to always put you first in our lives and to always uh, have that quality time with you. Dahil alam po namin, Ama, na in every aspect of our lives, patuloy kami na magtiwala at manampalataya na mayroon kang gagawin na maganda sa aming mga buhay. And today, Father, as we entrust this devotion unto your hands, we pray for your divine holy anointing of the Holy Spirit to be with us so that we'll be able to understand your word that gives hope, life, and strength sa buhay ng bawat isa, lalo na sa mga pamilya namin, sa mga anak namin na nag-aaral at nag uh, lahat ng mga guru din, Panginoon, we pray for you na patuloy mo sila protektahan sa lahat ng aspeto ng kanilang mga buhay. And we thank you, Father, for this day, for this beautiful day. We thank you that your favor be with us as we continue to linger into your presence. This is our prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Mga kapatid, our scripture reading for today will be found in John 17, verse 6 to 19. It says here, I have revealed to the ones you gave me from this world. They were always yours. You gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything I have is a gift from you, for I have passed on to them the message you gave me. They accepted it and know that I came from you, and they believe you sent me. My prayer is not for the world, but for those you have given me, because they belong to you. All who are mine belong to you, and you have given them to me. So they bring me glory. Now I am departing from the world. They are staying in this world. But I am coming to you, Holy Father. You have given me your name. Now protect them by the power of your name, so that they will be united just as we are. During my time here, I protected them by the power of the name you gave me. I guarded them so that not one was lost except the one headed for destruction, as the scriptures foretold. Now I am coming to you. I told them many things while I was with them in this world, so they would be filled with my joy. I have given them your word, and the world hates them, because they do not belong to the world. Yes, I do not belong to the world. I am not asking you to take them out of the world, but to keep them safe from the evil one. They do not belong to this world any more than I do. Make them holy by your truth. Teach them by your word, which is truth. Just as you sent me to the world, I am sending them into the world. And I give myself as a holy sacrifice for them, so they can make holy by your truth. Babasahin ko naman sa Tagalog version. Sa Juan Kapitulo 17, versikulo 6 hanggang 19. Ipinakilala kita sa mga taong ibinigay mo sa akin mula sa Santibutan. Sila ay iyo, ibinigay mo sila sa akin at tinupad nila ang iyong salita. 
Ngayon alam na nilang mula sa iyo ang lahat ng binigay mo sa akin sapagkat tinuro ko sa kanila ang lahat ng aking nabatid sa iyo at tinanggap naman nila. Natitiyak nilang ako'y galing sa iyo at naniniwala silang ikaw nga ang nagsugo sa akin. Idinadalangin ko sila hindi ang sanlibutan kundi ang lahat ng binigay mo sa akin sapagkat sila'y iyo. Ang lahat ng akin ay iyo at ang lahat ng iyo ay akin. At pararangalan ako sa pamamagitan nila. At ngayon ako'y papunta na sa iyo, aalis na ako sa sandibutan, ngunit nasa sandibutan pa sila. Amang banal, ingatan mo sila sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng iyong pangalan. Pangalang ibinigay mo sa akin upang sila'y maging isa, kung paano tayo'y iisa. Habang kasama nila ako, iningatan ko sila sa pamamagitan ng kapangyarihan ng iyong pangalang binigay mo sa akin. Inalagaan ko sila at ni Isay walang napahamak, liban sa taong humanap ng kanyang kapahamakan upang matupad ang kasulatan. Ngunit ngayon ako'y papunta na sa iyo at sinasabi ko ito habang ako ay nasa sanlibutan upang mapuspos sila ng aking kagalakan. Naibigay ko na sa kanila ang iyong salita at kinapupuutan sila ng sanlibutan sapagkat hindi na sila makasanlibutan. Tulad kong hindi makasanlibutan, hindi ko dinadalangin alisin mo sila sa sanlibutan kundi iligtas mo sila sa masama. Hindi sila makasanlibutan tulad kong hindi makasanlibutan, italaga mo sila sa pamamagitan ng katotohanan. Ang salita mo'y katotohanan. Kung paanong sinugo mo ako sa sanlibutan, gayon din naman sinusugo ko sila sa sanlibutan. At alang-ala sa kanila'y tinalaga ko ang aking sarili upang may talaga rin sila sa pamamagitan ng katotohanan. Ito ay ang badal na salita ng Panginoon. So today, my brothers and sisters, the title of our message of God's message to us is about Jesus' prayer to His disciples. Or some Bible scholars said it that this is the high priestly prayer. So ang tema natin, does our lives today reveal Jesus' character and His presence in our lives? So while we are still in this world, we are surrounded with many trials, temptations, and we sometimes forget to acknowledge that the world is the greatest battleground wherein the forces under Satan's power and those under God's authority are at war. So habang tayo pa rin ay nabubuhay dito sa sanlibutan, though we are already uh, chosen by God, We receive Him as our personal Lord and Savior in our lives. Hindi pa rin nahihinto yung uh, spiritual warfare na hinaharap po natin. So, napakadakila po ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo dahil bago siya umakyat sa langit, nanalangin siya sa lahat ng kanyang mga disipulo. And at the same time, it also applies to us ngayon sa, sa lahat na tumanggap sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo bilang Panginoon at tanging tagapagligtas sa kanyang buhay sa ating buhay so what are the contents of Jesus prayer una he prayed with intention and passion for his disciples as we have read in uh, verses 9 to 10 sinabi dito my prayer is not for the world But for those you have given me, because they belong to you, all who are mine belong to you, and you have given them to me, so they bring me glory. So, dito natin makikita that God, Jesus Christ, has this passion to pray for His disciples. In emphasize niya dito that we are not already from this world, kundi inahon na tayo ng Panginoong Heso Kristo mula sa mundong sa kadiliman to the kingdom of His light. At dito natin nakikita yung difference natin na 
magpatuloy tayong manampalataya, manalig sa lahat ng kanyang mga salita for us to live a life according to His will that will reflect God's character and His presence in our lives. So, pangalawa po, what are the contents of Jesus' prayer? Second, He prayed for protection and unity. As we've read in verse 11, it says here, Now I am departing from the world. They are staying in this world, but I am coming to you, Holy Father. You have given me your name. Now protect them by the power of your name so that they will be united just as we are. So, dito pinagpipray pa rin ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Since we are still here, nandito pa rin tayo sa mundong ibabaw. Nandun yung mga temptations, distractions, maraming mga trials, mga sufferings. But then, gusto ng Panginoon na protektahan tayo. Gusto ng Panginoong Heso Kristo that the name of our God will not uh, put in vain or ang kanyang pangalan ay hindi masisira dahil lang sa mundo na nandito tayo sa mundong ibabaw. Kundi as disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ, we continue to rely on God's mercy and His protection for us because apart from Him, we cannot do anything. This warfare, we cannot, uh, we cannot fight against the power of the enemy if uh, the, if the Spirit of God is not with us. So, we continue to rely on His Word, His Word of Truth. We rely on His name. Na in the power of the name of Jesus, there is a... Uh, there, there, is, there we can find the protection, there we can find the breakthrough in our lives, at lahat po ng yun ay pinagpray tayo ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. And thirdly, sinabi rin dito na sa verse, if we, we, uh, hindi lang yung protection yung pinagpray sa atin, yung, kundi yung uh, unity as Christians and at the same time, yung patuloy tayo magkaroon ng harmonious relationship, unang-una yung relationship natin sa Panginoon and secondly, our relationship to our families to our friends, to our neighbors, and to all the people that put that God put in our uh, circle of influence. So, basahin ko rin po sa verse 21, sinabi, I pray that they will all be one just as you and I are one. As you are in me, Father, and I am in you, and may they be in us, so that the world will believe you sent me. So, dito natin, we should also reflect that a unity that God had already, uh, that already uh, uh, displayed in the time, in the way that Jesus Christ, they are one with the Father. So, we continue to be uh, united, not only in, uh, in our relationship to God, but also our relationship to others. So, yun po. Gusto ng Panginoon na if we reflect God's character, God's presence in our lives, nandun din po, magkaroon tayo ng harmonious relationship or unity between God and others po. And thirdly, He prayed for divine covering from the evil one. So, dito makikita natin sa verse 15 and 16. Sinabi dito sa verse 15, I am not asking you to take them out of the world, but to keep them sa safe from the evil one. They do not belong to this world any more than I do. So, dito natin makikita that God, Jesus Christ, really prayed intensely talaga, intentionally pray for us that we will be protected from the evil one. Dahil hindi biro talaga that uh, Satan's power is really... Uh, really very uh, strong kumbaga but Jesus Christ has already overcome it so wala tayong dapat katakutan kundi magkaroon tayo ng uh, yung continuous rooted with the word of God para sa gayon uh, whatever trials whatever temptations that comes along our way we are ready to defend our faith we are ready to uh, counter attack the attacks of the enemy in our lives. Dahil, ito yung prayer ng Panginoon. If we are really covered with the precious blood of Jesus Christ and we know the word of truth that gives us hope, that gives us strength to uh, counterattack 
all the schemes or strategies of the enemy. So, napaka-importante po talaga yung prayer. At ito yung uh, panalangin ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo na patuloy tayo na protektahan sa lahat ng masama dito sa mundong ibabaw. And fourth, sinabi rin dito, Jesus prayed for us to be pleasing to the Father. So, basahin natin sa verse 17, sabi dito, Make them holy by your truth, Teach them your word, which is truth. So, dito natin nakikita na Jesus Christ, nandun talaga yung in-emphasize niya talaga na magkaroon tayo ng uh, buhay na tapat, na ayon sa kalooban ng Panginoon, and at the same time, to be set apart for us to be used mightily in His kingdom purposes. Kaya dito, sinabi ng Panginoon na hindi lang natin pag-aralan ng Kanyang salita, kundi i-apply din natin sa ating pang-araw-araw na pamumuhay sa ating uh, buhay. Every day of our lives, patuloy natin apply dito. So, God is teaching us to give us the spiritual wisdom, spiritual knowledge for us to apply His word that gives hope that gives life, that gives strength for us while we are still here living in this earthly lives. So, dito natin makikita that Jesus Christ is really praying for us. And at the same time, uh, sa fifth, Jesus prayed to fulfill the Great Commission. So, sa verse 18, sinabi dito, Just as you sent me into the world, I am sending them into the world. So, dito natin, pinagpipray pa rin ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Sabi niya, as you have sent me in this world. So, di ba sinugon ng Panginoong Ama, ang Panginoong Heso Kristo, for us to be redeemed from all our sins and to be brought out from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of His light. At dito, Pinagpipray din ng Panginoon na lahat ng kanyang mga disipulo will be sending he send, sending them for for them to also share the gospel of salvation for their testimony by their testimony they will also know that Jesus Christ is our savior our lord over our lives and how God has transformed our lives may we also be a, an agent of transformation to all the people who haven't yet heard the gospel, to all the people who haven't yet known Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior in their lives. So, nandito pa rin yung uh, prayer niya talaga that lahat ng kanyang mga disipulo will also be a discipling other disciples. So, ayun po. At ano ba yung reflection natin dito sa uh, tinuro na, uh, yung prayer ng Panginoon sa ating buhay? Actually, yung uh, whole chapter ng uh, chapter 17 is all the prayer, it's all prayer of Jesus Christ. Una yung prayer for Himself to the Father, yung second, the prayer of Jesus to His disciples, and the third part is the prayer of Jesus to the future believers. So, dito lang po tayo nag-focus sa mga disciples where I know and I do believe na uh, ang Panginoon hanggang ngayon, He is interceding for us. At sinabi doon sa Hebrews 4.14, Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has ascended into heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. So, patuloy pa rin, siya, siya yung mediator natin, siya yung, siya yung pamamagitan natin sa ating Panginoong Ama. So, every time we pray, isn't it? Sa so, John 14, 14, sinabi, as anything in my name, that's the name of Jesus Christ, and He will do it. So, patuloy tayo na magkaroon ng uh, enthusiasm, yung passion, kagaya ni Jesus Christ. During her earthly life, talagang uh, nagkaroon siya ng intimate relationship to the Father. So, let us emulate Jesus Christ, His passion of a devoted prayer life. Throughout His earthly ministry, he exemplified the true essence of an effective prayer that will change the world and bring his souls to his kingdom of light. For the world is also the object of Father's love and his love and the disciples' ongoing love and mission. So ngayon mga kapatid, siguro sinasabi nyo, paano ako maging pagpapala sa iba? Alam nyo mga kapatid, the time na 
tinanggap niyo ang Panginoong Heso Kristo bilang Panginoon at tagapagligtas sa inyong buhay. Sigurado na ang banal na spirito ang siyang nag-empower sa inyo, siya ang kumilos sa iyo, yung dating, dating ikaw noon ay binago ng Panginoon. Iyon, kung paano ka binago ng Panginoon, kapatid, iyon ay malaking testimony that God is in you and the Holy Spirit is working in you and through you. Napakalaking, uh, kumbaga, napakalaking, uh, kumbaga, encouragement Yung, yung life testimony, kung paano ka binago ng Panginoon. Kung noon, naging palagi kang, example lang ha, kung noon, palagi kang tismosa, ngayon, uh, ang chinichismis mo na ngayon, ang binabalita mo na ngayon, yung paano kumilos ang Panginoon sa buhay mo, paano niya pre-novide ang pangangailangan mo, kung paano inayos ng Panginoon, yung relasyon mo, yung relasyon mo sa asawa mo, yung relasyon mo sa mga kamag-anak mo, sa kapatid mo, sa mga magulang mo, di ba napakalaking bagay na hindi naman nagagawa ng tao, pero ang Diyos lamang ang nakagagawa nun. So, napakalaking impact po yon sa mga unbelievers, yung mga hindi pa nakakilala sa mga hindi pa nakakilala sa ating paginoon sa ating buhay. So, kagaya ng buhay ko lang, uh, year 2002, when I uh, received Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior, ang time ang buhay ko noon ay never the same again since nung time na nakilala ko ang Panginoon. Maraming mga changes talaga sa buhay ko. Siguro, kulang, kulang itong araw na to na i-share uh, ko lahat ng mga ginawa ng Panginoon sa aking buhay. At lalong-lalo na ngayon, doon, ang una ko lang uh, na, napaka-warrior ko noon, napaka- Uh, nandun yung mga palagi akong nagkakaroon ng mga anxiety, nagkakaroon ng mga worries sa buhay ko but then, nung nakilala ko ang Panginoon sa buhay ko nan, binigyan, ako ng, uh, binigyan ako ng bagong uh, pananaw sa aking buhay na you should not worry why should you worry if you, if you really want to pray, di ba? So, let our fear be changed to faith, our worries to prayer. Kaya kailangan natin, truly enough, God is really our great provider. He is our great healer. He is our great uh, uh, restorer. He is our comforter. Siya lahat, lahat, binig, nandyan na lahat sa ating Panginoon. So, everything that we have, everything that we uh, have in our lives and of who we are, we owe it all by the grace of God in our lives. So mga kapatid, kung hindi sa grasya ng Panginoon, wala ako ngayon sa harapan nyo na declare ang kanyang kabutihan niya, katapatan niya sa aking buhay, sa aking family, at sa lahat ng mga aspeto ng aking buhay. Though sometimes we are still under the sanctification process, we are not perfect, but we have a perfect God in our lives. So, anong testimony mo, kapatid? Pwede mo rin yan i-share kung paano ka binago ng Panginoon. That's also the time that God is using you to share the gospel of salvation and at the same time, sharing His goodness and faithfulness to others for His greater glory and honor. So, today, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we worship and glorify your most holy name. Be exalted and be magnified forever. We thank you for your love, your mercy, and grace that sustain us every day. Please forgive us from all our sins, especially our idle moments that we are not putting you first in our lives. Please help us to regain the passion of prayer as we continually trust your ways. For your ways are higher than our ways. Your thoughts are higher than our thoughts. We believe by faith that you will do great and mighty things over our lives for your greater glory and honor. We lift up unto you our families whom you have chosen to be an instrument to advance your kingdom here on earth. Please continue to restore broken marriages, broken homes, and broken relationships as we reflect of what you've done on the cross and the power of your resurrection. May our hearts be connected to your will as we abide with your word that brings glory and honor to your name. We lift also our young people, the children, especially those who are attending face-to-face -face classes during this school year. May your divine protection be with them as you empower with spiritual knowledge and wisdom during their studies. We pray even all the teachers and working parents for your divine mercy and protection, strength, 
and spiritual knowledge and wisdom to educate and train the students and their children in accordance to their perfect will and plan in their lives. We also lift up unto you all our family members who are currently suffering from any physical sickness. May they find comfort and strength from you as they will receive your healing touch as you promised and Jeremiah 17 14 heal them Lord and they will be healed save them and they will be saved for you are the one we praised we also lift up unto you all the young adults who are working and studying at the same time may they find quality time with you as you protect them from all kinds of temptations and distractions May you continue to strengthen their faith and restore their spiritual lives. We believe by faith that you are raising up true disciples that will continue to expand your kingdom here on earth. We thank you, Father, even our pains and trials. You've been always with us, reminding us to hold on to your promises and lifting us up in our down moments. Please continue to mold our character, behavior, and attitude until we become the person you want us to become according to your plan and purpose in our lives. Above all, Father, we thank you so much for your loving kindness and faithfulness that endures forever. We are asking for the power of your Holy Spirit to anoint each and every one of us so that we'll be an instrument to share the gospel of salvation and to be an agent of transformation for your greater glory and honor. This is our prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and Amen. So ngayon mga kapatid, I hope and pray na lahat po tayo ay na-encourage, na-inspired sa salita ng Panginoon. And let God speak in our hearts. So thank you mga kapatid so, uh, for joining us. Hope and pray na patuloy lang tayo. Manalig, manampalataya, and have that uh, continuous prayer life and intimate relationship with God. Thank you, and have a good day. God bless, and bye. We love you with the love of the Lord.